Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my 100% walkthrough of Fallout 4. I hope you're all doing well. I know that I am, and today we're going to be starting the main quest. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. First things first, I went back and got dog meat. We're going to need dog meat for this quest today. We're going to go into our pit boy and we're going to put on getting a clue. And then we're going to make our way to Nick Valentine. Ellie? Are you here? Nick? Oh god, it's really you. <laughs> well, it's hard to mistake this mug for anyone else. <laughs> you keep laughing at death. Someday death's gonna laugh back. Not as long as I got a few friends to back me up. You saved Nick, this agency, and my job. Thank you. Hey, happy to do it. Yeah? Go diving into scary pre-war ruins all the time then, do you? Here, I know an amount wasn't on the table when you went out to find him, but you deserve a reward. Plus a little something extra. You know, if you're looking for work and don't mind putting on the detective hat, Nick sure could use a new partner. Whoa. One case at a time, Ellie. Our new friend needs our help first. All right, let's get down to business. Take a seat. Make yourself comfortable. When you're trying to find someone who's gone missing, the devil is in the details. Tell me everything you can, no matter how painful it might be. My wife was murdered. She was trying to keep them from taking Sean and they, they just- It's okay, you don't need to say anything more. So we're talking about a group of cold hearted killers but they waited until something went wrong to resort to violence. What else can you tell me? There was a man and a woman. They didn't say much, but I remember they called me the backup. So we're talking a small team, professionals, the kind that know to keep their lips tight when they're on the job. Not sure what the backup means though. Anything else you remember? We were in a vault when it happened. Vault 111. It, it was some kind of cryo facility. You were on ice, huh? More importantly, you were underground, sealed up. There's a lot of obstacles to get through just to take one person. Anything else you remember? We're looking for my son, Sean. He's less than a year old. Why would anyone take him? Good question. Why your family in particular, and why an infant? Someone would be taking on all of his care, and a baby needs a lot of it. Well, that confirms it. This isn't a random kidnapping. Whoever took your kid had an agenda. Hmm. There's a lot of groups in the Commonwealth that take people. Raiders, super mutants, the Gunners, and of course there's the Institute. You think Raiders might have done this? <laughs> I honestly doubt it. They can barely organize themselves, let alone pull off something this complicated. Who were the gunners? High-end mercenaries. No job too brutal. They're in the running as likely suspects. They wouldn't be the ones pulling the strings. Wait. Super mutants? What are they? Big, green, muscles on muscles. In other words, hard to miss. I think we can safely rule them out. So you think this institute is responsible? Well, they're the boogeymen of the Commonwealth. Something goes wrong, everyone blames them. Easy to see why. Those early model synths of theirs strip whole towns for parts, killing everything in their way. Then you got the newer models, good as human, that infiltrate cities and pull strings from the shadows. Worst of all, no one knows why they do it, what their plan is, 
nor where they are, not even me, and I'm a synth myself, a discarded prototype anyway. You're a prototype? As far as I know, never seen any other synth like myself. There's the older ones that are dumb as rocks and all metal, and there's the newer ones that are almost human. I'm somewhere in between. You don't know anything about them? Really? Some kind of security setting strips or blocks out those memories. And it's not just me. Any synth that gets trashed, left behind, or escapes the Institute has the same problem. Probably some kind of failsafe. Don't lie to me, Nick. You're one of them. They made you. Yeah, I've heard it all before. You're a freak. You've got something to hide. Blah, blah, blah. But the truth is, people smart enough to build something like me are smart enough to cover their tracks and arrogant enough to throw their unwanted trash into the Commonwealth to fend for itself. Either way, I need to find Sean. You're right. The speculation is getting us off track. Let's focus on what you saw. What did these kidnappers look like? The woman was dressed in, um... I think it was a kind of hazard suit. The man had some sort of metal brace on his arm. Maybe some kind of improvised armor? A lot of hired guns do that to look tough. The hazard suit is interesting. Not many mercs can afford something that fancy. What else do you remember about them? I'll never forget that voice. Low and rough. Like sandpaper across your face. Huh. Not much to go on, but a tough and commanding voice can get someone pretty far in the violence business. What else? The man who... killed my wife. He had a handgun. I didn't get a clear look at it, but that sound... Could have been a large caliber revolver. Huh. I'm starting to get a clearer picture of the kind of man our perp is. Anything more you can tell me? One of them came right up to me. Bald head. Scar across his left eye. Wait. It couldn't be. You didn't hear the name Kellogg at all, did you? Oh, yeah. I heard their names, their home addresses, and where their diary keys are hidden. All right, all right. Calm down. Hmm. Way too big of a coincidence. Ellie, what notes do we have about the Kellogg case? The description matches. Bald head, scar, reputation for dangerous mercenary work, but no one knows who his employer is. And he bought a house here in town, right? And he had a kid with him, didn't he? Yeah, that's right. The house in the abandoned West Stands. The boy with him was around 10 years old. It's Sean. It has to be. Somehow. Don't jump the gun on me. You said you were looking for an infant, remember? That's over nine years difference by my count. Look, maybe he has a son of his own. Maybe it's someone else's kid. Either way, they both vanished a while back. Let's you and I take a walk over to Kellogg's last known address. See if we can snoop out where he went. Security doesn't really go to that part of town, but you two should still be careful. I always am. Let's go outside. I uh, didn't want Ellie to hear this, but I think you should know. Everything I dug up about Kellogg before his disappearance... Don't worry. He's bad news. He's more than just a mercenary. He's a professional. Quick, clean, thorough. Has no enemies. Because they're all dead. <laughs> Except you. But nine to one odds says he's our man. It's more than just you identifying his distinguishing features. The M.O. is all him as well. Leading a small team to kidnap a baby and leaving one of the parents alive for later? Not many mercs in the Commonwealth can pull that off.
Here we are. Keep an eye out, will you? See if I can get this open. That's one heck of a lock. Got something to hide, Kellogg? Why don't you give it a try? So real quick, before we come over here and give this a try, because it is a master lock, and you're going to have to have master lock picking to unlock it. See if you can get that door open. If you can't open it, you can always go up to the mayor's office and convince him to give you a key, and then you'll be able to come into this house. Go ahead. Try the door. Sweet. Let's take a look around. Kellogg must have left something behind. So if we come behind this desk and we crouch, there's a button right here we can press. Well, that's one way to hide a room. Well, look at this. All of a Merc's favorite things. We're going to loot a little bit here. Hey. Damn it, dog meat. Let's go ahead and examine the San Francisco sunlights. Gwinnett Stout beer, 44 caliber bullets, and cigars. San Francisco Sunlights. Hmm, interesting brand. Won't lead us anywhere on its own, though. I wonder if dog meat could pick up the scent. Say, that's not a bad idea. Some dogs out there in the Commonwealth can track a man for miles. Well, dog meat seems eager for the job. Why don't you let him have a whiff? See if he picks up on the trail. Uh, before you head out, uh, I know this is personal business. If you have to face Kellogg on your own, just say so. Any words of wisdom? Kellogg really is the one who kidnapped your son. And he's dangerous. But so are you. You don't need to be afraid of him or anything else the Commonwealth throws at you. I want you with me on this, Nick. All right. Now let's get that bastard. This is your show from here on out, okay? You say jump, I'll say how high. So we'll go outside first and then we'll have dog meat sniff the cigar. Dog meat. Get the scent, boy. Take me to him, boy. Take me to Sean. Swatter, swatter. Who needs a swatter? We're pretty much just going to be following dog meat the whole time. Every now and then dog meat's going to make a couple of pit stops. And that's when we are going to try to find something for him to sniff and continue to follow Kellogg's trail. Also, I did upgrade the Overseer's Guardian. Made sure to put a silencer on it or suppressor. Hmm. Kellogg must have stopped here. Search around, see if we can pick up the trail. So we can come over here and grab this San Fran I was gonna say sunlight. San Francisco sunlight cigar. San Francisco sunlight. Dog meat pick up the scent again. Kellogg's preferred brand, alright. 
Okay, boy. Let's track him. away from. Looks like another one of Kellogg's pit stops. Keep your eyes open. Let's examine the bloodied bandage. The bloodied bandages. Holy moly! Bloody bandages. Dog meat can track this. That nose is second to none. Kellogg's still out there. We've got to track him, boy. Okay, boy. Let's track him. Careful, usually there's a Yao Guai over here. Let's go loot the Yao Guai real quick. And then I want to loot this Brahmin that has nothing on it. Never mind, I didn't want to loot it. Over here's a bunker you can go into. All right, dog meat's found something. You know the drill. Gonna pick up the Gwinnett Stout beer. Gwinnett Stout, one of his creature comforts. Now I'm telling you, that nose is second to none. Okay, boy, let's track him. Be careful on the bridge. We're going to have a couple of feral ghouls. Over here is where we picked up the mutated fern for the guy in Diamond City. Man, I kind of wish that I was playing a melee build. The amount of melee stuff I've gotten, or legendaries, not stuff, but the amount of legendary melee weapons I've gotten are insane. Thank you. 
Oh, Ultra Jet. It's the first time that we've seen that. Sorry, I had to grab the skull. It's a habit. I promise. Alert. Critical signs. Hell of a party happened here. Tracking known mercenary. Exercise extreme caution. Attention. What assailant. have we here? Lower your weapon. System corrupt. I can't feel my legs. Another one of his stogies. You were smarter than this. You all right. That was scary. Three super mutants with missile launchers. Holy moly. Poor scavenger. Gonna stand there on the dog meat. Oh, are you being buggy? Come on now. Over there, if you want, you can actually set that off. That's a nuke. Or not a nuke. I think it's a um, reactor, but you can still set it off. It's pretty cool. So if you want to do that, you can. Maybe I'll do it. Maybe I won't. I don't know. We'll just have to see. What do you think, boy? Feel it. Was this Around. our man? You gonna do something, dog meat? Okay, well, maybe we'll lead the charge, I guess. Careful. A couple bloat flies over here, maybe a blood bug. Now you got problems. Is this the place? Is he in here, boy? I knew dog meat would sniff our man out. Let's you and I take it from here. Give our four-legged friend a break. Okay, now dog meat will run off because we have Nick Valentine. gonna come around the back here go up some scaffolding and we're gonna go inside Fort Hagen Oh, that? 
Oh, super mutant down there. That was very random. Let's finish looting this last turret. And then we're going to go inside Fort Hagen. We're going to crouch. Take some rat away. Heal ourselves. And then right over here, we're going to pick up a guns and bullets magazine. Yes. Attacking enemy. Shit. I am damaged. Kellogg will not be pleased. Lights out for you! Fort Hagen is under destitute authority. Terminating intruder. Be really careful. There's a lot of sense over here. You see him? I knew there was a turret over there, but I wanted to <laughs> grab good. that Asset. legendary. In danger. Defending. We'll come this way. Got another turret. Intruder in Fort Hagen. Eliminating hostile. Unfortunately, we are not very sneaky because of the pit boy lamp, which I think I've said like a million times by this point. But I like to be thorough. And let everybody know. You can turn on that protectron if you terminal? want. Down there is a way we could have come in through the garage. The Are you playing hide and seek? Where's he at? There they <coughs> are. What's that? We're gonna go this way. Termination required. Just run! Oh, shit. <laughs> Didn't see you over there. Damn it. Directive received from Kellogg. Destroy intruder. Quit moving so I can kill you. Jesus. Got it. <coughs> oh, jeez. I forgot to... There is a trap right there. I forgot about that. They were wise to flee. It was really dumb of me. I knew it was there, and then I just completely spaced on it. I do that a lot. Tell me we don't need to find something in here. That may take a while. Sensor read your stealthy attack was unsuccessful, hey. and now you must die. <clears throat> Didn't even break a sweat. Not that it's an option. Okay, what we can do is hack this terminal, and that'll open up the gate over there. You need me to take a... Oh, huh. you got it. Took some bright mind. Now, watch this. Arms over here. Well, I need you to get out of the way, Nick. 
so I can get over there. Again, open this up. This will send us back out towards the beginning where we came in. Nice. Going up. Going up. Lower. Right over here are the stairs I was talking about earlier. You could go down and you could get in through the parking garage if you wanted to. Contact detected. Possibly. There you are. Kellogg's gonna die. Someone's coming. Yeah, well, you gotta get out of my way so I can take him out. Be warned. I cannot. I think that's the last of them. Frozen TV dinner. Last time we met, you were cozying up to the peas and apple cobbler. Right here is a tension trap. Disarm that. And then disarm the Tesla arc. Just keep making your way through here. It's pretty Some linear. Never lose their fondness for living in the basement. Look, you're pissed off. I get it. I do. But whatever you hope to accomplish in here, it's not going to go your way. If you want to hack the terminal, you can. Nick likes when you hack terminals, uh, lockpick certain things, as long as it's not owned, that is. He likes uh, when you lockpick stuff. And he likes when you just do nice things for people. I don't think we're a peak of the devil. Didn't even break a sweat. Not that it's an option. <coughs> Welcome to your last stand. You won't underestimate us again. I 
There's nothing really in here besides junk to loot. So if you want to loot some junk, you can loot it. Over here, we can get a fusion core. Nick, you're in the way, homie. Go ahead and loot all this stuff. All stuff you definitely want. We're going to go through this blue door in just a moment. But first, let's come over here. Grab ourselves a Nuka-Cola Quantum. And then most importantly, the Fort Hagen Armory Password. Now we're going to come in here. We're going to get ourselves a bobblehead. Perfect. And then we're going to have some synths come in right behind us. They should. Maybe we have to go further in. If you want to lockpick the explosives box, you can. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, we had to go further in and then they would sneak up behind us or casually stroll in behind us, whatever. Wouldn't want it going to waste now, would we? You got guts and determination. It's admirable. But you are in over your head in ways you can't possibly comprehend. Is someone present? Something out there. You did good. Be careful of the synth stormer. He was a tougher enemy. He's, he had a skull over his head. Kind of like a mini boss in the world of Fallout. It's not too late. Stop. Turn around and leave. You have that option. Not a lot of people can say that. Top ourselves off there. <coughs> something out there. Oh, you don't say, Nick. There's something out there. Let's go into this ter terminal. This is where we picked up the password. Or, this is what we picked up the password for. Go ahead and have a loot fest over here. That's it. Sweet. Oh, Nick scared me. I was like, who the hell is that? Come over here and we're going to get ourselves a U.S. Covert Operations Manual. There we go. Now we'll be able to sneak even better. Well, everybody else will be able to sneak even better. Me, on the other hand, I will not. Got it. Hey, back. <laughs> Damn. Lost. <sighs> okay. You made it. I'm just up ahead. My synths are standing down. Let's talk. Hopefully you've built up your crit meter. It'll make this fight a lot easier. And there he is. 
most resilient man in the Commonwealth. Funny. I thought I had that honor. So, here we are. Funny, huh? End of the line, Kellogg. You die, and I get my son back. You can turn around right now. Go back the way you came. Sean. Well, besides being a bit older than you were expecting, I'm afraid he's not even here. So you see, it is the end of the line. But not the way you imagined. God damn it, you mercenary motherfucker. Where is my son? What's the cliche? So close, but yet so far away? That's Sean. But don't worry. You'll die knowing he's safe and happy. A bit older than you expected, but ah well. At least he's in a loving home. The Institute. Here, the Institute. I'll find my son no matter where he is. <laughs> That's the spirit. You know, you surprise me, I have to admit. I find myself actually kind of liking you. I admire your dedication to fatherhood. Even if it is ultimately useless. But I think we've been talking long enough. We both know how this has to end. So, you ready? You know, in a hundred years, when I finally die, I only hope I go to hell so I can kill you all over again, you piece of shit. Make sure you get into that as fast as possible. That's how you one-shot Kellogg. It also helps that I'm using the Overseer's Guardian, too. Good job. That bastard won't be hurting anyone else. We should take a look around, get all the intel this place can hide. All this tech. You were barely human. This is a pretty badass pistol. Not doing them much good at this point. Where'd that other synth go? Let's go ahead and go into this terminal, but before we do, let's go ahead and pick up Pitfall. Bingo. This is another uh, Pitboy game you can play in your Pitboy. Let's go into the terminal. We're going to view the access logs. That's going to update our main quest. And then we're going to open up the security doors. Let's heal ourselves. Hey, Valentine. So, Kellogg wasn't giving us any bull. Your son really is on the inside. Even I don't know where the Institute is. And they built me. Oh, Mr. Metal for Hands doesn't know how to get back to the factory? No, I skipped that part of the orientation film while they were busy pulling me apart and putting me back together again. <sighs> we're in the weeds here. Time to take a step back. Bring in some fresh eyes. Only person I know willing to snoop up the Institute's tail feathers is Piper, the reporter in Diamond City. I say we head her way. Talk this through. How could Piper help us? Trust me, that dame knows a lot more than she lets on. And she lets on a lot. If I know her, she's done her homework. And we need to talk this through with someone. Diamond City it is. Hey, chin up. I know the night just got darker, but it won't last forever.
Let's head out of here. We're going to go through this door back here. And then we're going to use the elevator. Going up. We're about to see one of my favorite scenes in Fallout 4. Access. The Brotherhood of Steel. Come into the Commonwealth. People of the Commonwealth. Do not interfere. Our intentions are peaceful. We are the Brotherhood of Steel. So freaking cool. Deep into that darkness peering, long I stood there. Wondering. Fearing. Now that Nick has said his ominous dialogue, let's go ahead and end the video. I want to start by telling everybody thank you so very much for stopping by and watching the video. It really does mean a lot to me. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night, whatever time it may be in your part of the world. Mr. John Wayne, signing off.